درس الهندي تسرني رؤية رئيس القضاة مستغرقا في درس لمثل هذا لا تترقب تلك القافلة Hello. Well met, sir. What do you have? Here's what's come in. Good for fixing one's gear. Ever useful too. Nothing else. I will be off then. Farewell. Lies! You reported my creep! What fresh brew do you have for me today, Kong? No brew until Luca returns my crate. But if you have come to buy tea, I have many recommendations. <laughs> Kong, it is me, Basim. Huh, Nisa Seya? Who? Basim. I am not an idiot. Everyone claims to be someone I know. Answer me this. What tea did my Basim like? Ginger with some turmeric. Wrong! Bassam does not like tea. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Bassam! Little Finch! Look at you all dressed up! Come, come, follow me to my stall. Away from this terrible man! Oh. So, Little Finch, what have you been up to, huh? So many years. Just here and there. I... Had to leave Baghdad for a while. Ah, youth. What about yourself, Kong? What have you been doing these years? <laughs> doing what I do best, making coin. Although with some difficulty of late. The guards are on high alert, and that Greek merchant has taken it in his stride to report me at every chance. I know it in my ripe old bones that he waits for me to die of starvation. Or worse, go out of business. Ah, but here you are, little Finch. Remember the dazzling duo we used to be? How about helping a friend out for old times? Ah, just like old times. But I need to speak with you after this. There is something I need as well. Of course! After you fetch my confiscated crate of beautiful leaves. It must be over there, where the guards are. Go forth! Fine. But I have something to ask of you after this. Yes, yes, of course. to you, little Finch. Where shall I put it? Come, come, put it here.
Basim delivers once again. Many thanks, little Finch. Where are these from? India? No! This is all the way from China. Dali, my hometown, produces the best leaves. I also import leaves from India and even Persia. Moving up in the world, Kong. Kong first, then the world. I am now selling my goods at the Grand Auction. Have you heard of it? The Da'irat al-Mal. Yes, I am trying to get in. Why? What kind of business are you doing, little Finch? Why not share it with me? We work so well together. The kind of business that could get you into big trouble. Do you think you can help me get into the auction? Ah, that is my Basim. Always with the secrets. But do not play around, huh? Kah is much more dangerous now than before. The auction is very exclusive. It is not easy to get in. I can help you, little Finch. But first, I have a request. See there? Blocked! The guards are stopping everything that comes in from the road and river. It is as if they are taking orders from someone higher up. These days, they do not even accept my bribes. They must be looking for something. An object, or... Some stupid nonsense, I do not know. But they spoil my business, that I do know. Now, I just sell dumb leaf water. I hear that they keep the items in the Harbor Master's guarded warehouse, somewhere east of here. Let me guess. You want me to help you free your wares in exchange for entry into the auction. The warehouse is decorated with banners around some cranes. My items for entry into the auction. Sound like a good deal? Sounds like a deal. What can I do for you? Hmm. This is about what I can do for you. Did Kong ask you to enter a warehouse? Just say what you have to say. <laughs> that Kong is always trying his luck. Well, it's his lucky day because I happen to know where it is. All I need is something in return. Tell me what you know. Follow the road, cross the bridge on the right. You'll see the warehouse on your left, past the river. That narrows it down. Thank you. Keep at it. Go somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. Now you pay! Coward! Turn and fight! Instructions to search any and all foreign goods for an artifact. An ancient Chinese hairpin, specifically. This all starts at the harbor. Who's 
a list of exotic foreign goods seized. Most from out of Baghdad. There are Kong's things. Vases and some expensive tea leaves. This should be what Kong needs. A strongly worded letter to the harbor master. He let a hairpin slip through their fingers, and someone is not happy. There is a scent on this letter, and a familiar symbol. El Kululu. Looks like the harbor master is part of the order. The harbor master has set up this blockade for foreign wares, especially for ancient artifacts from the east. There is nothing more here. The harbor master is waiting. Get out of here. Another wall between the people and power at play. I hope the harbor master is not expecting me. That idiot Hamza was at it again. Through, and he is no. 
Enkidu can scout ahead safely now. What see you, my friend? Javid is mad. One artifact and no one can find it? Dumb dogs. My neck might spill, but not before death. Hey, uh, who goes there? I have a weapon. Just me. Ah, the little finch returns to the nest. Empty handed? <laughs> it is here. This can help you get your wares out from the harbor. Ha! Huh. I never doubted you for a second. Come, let us enjoy a cup for the memories. I will even make your favorite. What did you find there? Who was behind it? A man by the name of Javid. He was working for someone, looking for an artifact. An exotic hairpin. It is important somehow. I need to find out why. I must. You have changed, little Finch. Or should I just say, Finch? When we last met, you were a street thief. Now? I hope you know what you are searching for. Sometimes, it is best to leave the thorn in, lest you bleed dry. Now, for what was promised to me? An invitation to the auction. It is only given to esteemed guests. Do not ask me where I got it from, unless you want lies. With that scroll, you can get in without having to fit yourself in one of my boxes. <laughs> that was your plan. Men have endured worse to reach their goals. Arken, all travelers! The Shorta are determined to smear my name. Accept this as proof of my innocence. It is done. Now, uh, Citizens of Baghdad, the brute that ravaged our streets is seized. He will meet with justice soon. Citizens, do you fear your crime? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well met. Nice to see you. May I see your wares? Please, take a look. Not wise to be short of these. Your gear needs some work? Can I be of further assistance? I must be on my way. Be well. for my staying awake much longer. Basim, over here. You seem shorter than I remembered, Basim. Hmm. And you still have not grown a single digit, Rebecca. No, we're not here as enemies. No, but we never held back on the training ground. Roshan tells me you are local here. In a manner of speaking, I lived here a time before I left for Anbar. Hmm. This place is no different from the places I'm used to. The rich wipe their shit with the clothes of the poor. That is the Karch I remember. It is your car no longer. Rebecca has uncovered a district tainted by corruption. Stronger than usual. Rumors of harassment from officials, and goods being controlled and seized. We think someone here has a hold over the district. Let me guess. The Order. A grand auction is happening. The Dairat al-Mal. An annual show of silk robes comparing their golden spoons. No surprise, but this event is invite only. There is a high chance one of our targets will attend. So, gain entry into the auction and find the one behind this. Mumtaz, you catch on quick. Finding it hard to keep up? There might be clues. It betrays trouble to the root. I can show you where they are brewing. Join me outside when you're ready. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it. Whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise. And how much more so for fools. Havan Muvattalan. The rotten Karch, treasurer. Property stolen. Merchants extorted. Foreigners tormented. 
Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin. One up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. Should have known you would be here, Kong. Ha. You know me. Come, let us chat. I. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa? The treasurer? Hmm. I do have something, but. You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? Ha. <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch. The Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kakh, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. Ahlan, Ahlan, come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi? I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind. A beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the east. This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. I assume you heard about the commotion if you stole down. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that...
left a nasty scar. Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful rope for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the east. Tardiness is not something the treasurer appreciates. I repeat. Not something we can rush, yes, that The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears closed. Certain, certain incidents there have also made us difficult. Hmm. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The... Uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Halifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood, and if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. 
You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, Ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. The auction should be starting soon. Marhaban! Assalamu alaikum! Yasas! Ni hao! Hello! It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire, and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al -Mal. First on our exclusive, captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already? No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One, for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning. The treasurer. Two. Any others? Hmm. So, 